Hello guys! We are frequently asked how to deal with logarithms, so today we will consider one common example. We have the following expression and we need to condense it to a single logarithm. Here we have the algebraic sum of certain logarithms, two of them with base 3 and one with base 9. So we can't right away use rules for logarithms, instead we need to change the base of the last logarithm. To do this we have the special formula. log base a of b equals log base c of b over log base c of a. Applying this formula to the last logarithm, we obtain the following. log base 9 of 11 equals log base 3 of 11 over log base 3 of 9. So we obtain the fraction. Let's have a closer look at its denominator. Log base 3 of 9 equals log base 3 of 3 squared. We already know the power rule from last example. So applying this rule we get 2 times log base 3 of 3 and this equals 2. So the fraction gives us log base 3 of 11 over 2. Once again, we apply the power rule and we get log base 3 of 11 raised to the power of 1 half. Now back to our example. We have log base 3 of 15 plus log base 3 of 2 minus log base 3 of square root of 11. Now we have the algebraic sum of three logarithms with the same base, so we can apply the product and quotient rule. We already know the product rule from previous videos, now let's recall the quotient rule. This rule states that the difference of two logarithms with the same base equals the logarithm of the quotient. Similarly to the product rule, in this rule all of the logarithms are of the same base. So now applying these two rules to our expression, we get the following. Log base 3 of 15 times 2 over square root of 11. And this equals log base 3 of 30 over square root of 11. This is the answer. I hope it helped. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask them.